you assaulted Guardia, knowing, knowing how I felt about Guardia, and how I feel about you, I might add, this will not stand. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Crusader Kings 3, and we need to talk about some family business, family issues here in the chiefdom of crew specifically our son and heir lampshade now lampshade is a complicated man even more complicated since he grew the beard we're not in favor of the beard lampshade let me be very very clear about that lampshade is married to a perfectly nice woman barixa here nana barixa of dibri perfectly nice sensible woman that we hooked lampshade up with for a hasty alliance now i don't know barixa very well but we are currently swaying her i'm sure we'll be best friends in no time at all what is not revealed here is that lampshade has a lover lampshade is cheating on barixa he is in fact an adulterer and that adultery has spawned a bastard child, or at least it will. His lover is still currently pregnant. So Lampshade and Brixa have their own child. Uh, Tennessee, apparently. Sure, why not? Tennessee? Tennessee. We're calling you Tennessee from now on because that's kind of funny. So you have your child with Brixa, but you also have a child on the way with your lover. And you've managed to do all of this, Lampshade, while being impotent. So I guess if you throw enough darts at the wall, eventually something scores a bullseye. So he's managed to father two children whilst being impotent, one of whom is not his wife. This will not do. Now, we are a rather deceitful, sneaky, murderous court. I won't deny that. My wife is a deviant, and I've murdered several people. But adultery, that is beyond the pale. We don't like that around here, so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with Lampshade over time. And I think I have two basic options available to me, if I understand this correctly. Right now, I have tribal authority in the High Chiefdom of Crew. I could work my way up through Prestige to get High Tribal Authority, and then I can revoke Lampshade's title. Nana Barixa has been swayed. Again, Nana Barixa, let me be very clear. I personally apologize on Lampshade's behalf for his behavior. This is not the sort of family that I encourage. This is not what we do around here. I have been more than faithful to my own wife, Pawn, despite several barmaids coming on to me at different points in my life. I have remained faithful to her. So I don't want you to look down upon our family, and I'm going to deal with Lampshade. Don't worry about that. So if I get high tribal authority, I could revoke his title. I basically like to kick Lampshade out of the family, but I think I might be able to do that prematurely, because up here I can claim his title as dynasty head. I can claim your title and take it away from you. You've only got the one. Your chiefdom of Dibri. That's your one title. You've got one county. I am going to punish you, Lampshade, by claiming your title. Now, you're going to hate it, but you should. You're a very, very bad person, and this is going to cost me a little bit of renown. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. I don't got that right now, Lampshade. I don't got that. Okay, you have bided yourself some time, but don't think you're getting away with this nonsense forever. I'd also like to replace you on the council just for punishment, but unfortunately you're the best diplomat we've got right now. You're lucky you're reasonably skilled, Lampshade. Otherwise, you are you are right out of the family. I, I can't just kick you out, right? I, I can't just make you leave, right? Aha! Hang on. Hang on, Lampshade. I can disinherit you. Or denounce you. And that will give everyone an imprisonment reason against him. I could imprison you myself. I can throw my son in jail. He's a justifiable criminal, what with the adultery and all. But I could just remove you from the line of succession, and focus on Pencil, my other son. Pencil Bakwe, you, you are going to be the shining star of this family. In fact, you know what, Pencil? 
it's high time we thought about your future wife. I'm going to shave our choices down to age difference plus or minus five years and see what's going on around here. You guys can go away for right now and you can come over here. So I'm a brong. You are ambitious. Okay, that's fine. And you're up in a con. Where is a con these days? No, 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 no. Make make it go back. We're we're not we're not committing to anything yet. Uh, you're up here and you've got some troops. You don't have no troops. We'll definitely have a think about you. But a new one just popped in here. Where are you exactly? What's your deal? You're right over here in Kumasi. You're pretty close to us. In fact, you're pretty much next door, so to speak. And you have an army. Who do you have an alliance with? Who's Who are you kicking around with? Uh, this unpronounceable country down here. Okay, fair enough. I kind of like the idea of that. Anyone with some nice congenital traits that I might pass on? Uh, delicate, no. Ah, you're a genius. You're unlanded, though. You're lowborn. I mean, I'm not judging. It's just if I'm marrying off what will be my future heir, I'd like to get a bit of an alliance out of it. I think... Show me Aja here. Where, where are you guys hanging out? We up here in Konko? Yeah, okay. And you have really no army to speak of. I... I think... Ama. I don't know why. I just got a good feeling about you. So we're not going to get any prestige over this, but Ama will. I'm going to go ahead and send that proposal for Pencil. And I do see we've got a new lifestyle perk we could focus on. I was planning to go da down the theologian route, kind of make up for all the murders that I've been doing, but pedagogy, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but pedagogy, my wards will gain additional skills. So I, as I teach my wards, they'll get a little bit better. I'm just going to lock that one in and then maybe go back to Theologian on the other one. Yes, no surprise you've accepted my proposal there, my betrothal. Okay, now what? It doesn't look like I can immediately punish Lampshade, but I will. Right now, Guardia is looking after Pencil, and I could not be happier about that. I could not be happier. Guardia, you are my favorite. My absolute super, super favorite. You've come up with so much money for me. So much money. Just random lots of money. You've been nothing but a stellar council member. I, if I could adopt you, I totally would. Now, back to, back to crew. We have expanded a little bit here. So we took Grebo last time. We've got our eyes on Wenyan, but we're not making a move on that right now. We've got, we've got a recovery period ahead of us here. We've got control issues in Grebo that we're working on. And actually, now that I'm now that I'm thinking about Guardia, how much is this collect taxes giving me? Up 10%. Wow. That is quite a lot. Hmm. I'd like to put you on development. But I kinda need the money. Oh, Miata, by the way, we're not actually actively murdering anyone right now. So you can go back to I say you can go back to disrupting schemes. Maybe we should send you finding some secrets. Why don't you see? Don't bother telling me about the one where my son is an adulterer. I know that one. Why don't you go see what you can find out in Wenyan? Maybe there's something juicy in there that we could use in the future. And uh, not upon, uh, sorry, crun anyway, my wife, go back to regular assisting ruler, please. Just a broad scope there. All right. House control in the other counties here. Dibri, 47. 51 in Bubo. Lobo's locked down at 100. And Crew itself is creeping up at 70. Boy, Crew loves me. Plus popular opinion of 69. Very nice indeed. All right. Well, what do we feel like we want to do at this point? Let's do something fun. Let's have a hunt. We haven't called a hunt yet. I would like to call a hunt. I'll lose stress, and I could really stand to lose a little stress. And it might get me some opportunities to increase prestige, which would be excellent. It's only going to cost me 33. Only 33, he says. But I'm kind of banking on Guardia, quite literally. Let's sound the horn. We're off on a hunt. Felling a 
beast. It was the largest heart I have ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. Oh dear, I'm hunting with Lampshade. I, you gotta get rid of the beard, man. Lan Not a Lampshade is just as awestruck. I have never seen such a thing, my lord. Well, its head will look beautiful in my great hall. I'll gain a hunting trophy. And that will be plus 0.5 prestige a month, which is not nothing. That's a big increase from where we are right now. I'm definitely not giving it to Lampshade. I don't care if he gains 30 opinion of me. The beard has to go, and we have to talk about the adultery. We're not giving it to you. Or, not a Lampshade deserves the credit. Oh, I will gain... No, not a Lampshade will gain 150 prestige. Read it correctly, Dave. No, 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 no. This one's staying in Daddy's house. And we mount our horses to leave the jungle behind as the servants prepare the heart and other game for the journey back. Well, there we go. I've got a quick 150 prestige for 33 gold. Not actually a bad trade-off. I'm okay with that. I could at least probably go to war with somebody with that kind of money, or rather, that kind of prestige. But more importantly, that prestige is gaining faster, thanks to my hunting trophy. Oh dear, uh, somebody died. Who were you? Exactly. Oh, you were my... you were my new alliance. Well, then I don't want my son to marry you anymore if you're not offering me an alliance. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll be... we'll be breaking that betrothal, thank you. Really? I have to spend 75 prestige to break this betrothal? Oh, I don't want to. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. In my work, the court of Nanagartat failed to find any secrets. Now, we do have the perk that just because we didn't find any secrets doesn't mean we can't make someone up. How much is that going to cost me? How much is that going to cost me? 50 gold for a strong hook on Nana Sor Sorrenti. Well, who are you when you're at home? Oh, you're Nana Garte's wife. Oh, I kind of like the sound of that. A strong hook, you say? Hmm. Like the strong hook where you might be an agent? If I thought I might feel like, I don't know, murdering someone? For 50 gold, you say? Eh, Guardy will come up with something. Do it. I just think it's fun. All right, I've got a fabricated hook on you. I totally make something up, but you're falling for it anyway. So just for fun, Nanagarte, just for fun, my fun, really, not your fun, if I put everyone back on super murder scheme power and I felt like murdering you, again, you know, not not, not a personal thing, really. I mean, it, it kind of is. I don't know how much more personal you can get than, than murdering someone, um, but I'd have a 72% chance. I bet you, with a strong hook, I bet you with a strong hook, I can get your wife on board with this. Now, oddly, Nana Sornti is not particularly enthusiastic about murdering her husband. However, if I use my made-up hook, all of a sudden, you're into that. So whatever we fabricated on you is a big enough deal that you're not willing to have a fake secret exposed, and you're going to murder your husband instead. Oh yeah, this is going to go down great. And for a mere 18 gold, I could get another agent on duty, but I'm at, I'm at 95%. I can't get any more than that. So I think we'll just uh, go with the plan of having your own wife help us murder you because we have a fake secret that doesn't really exist that she doesn't want exposed. Are you following all this, Nanagarte? You know what? It's irrelevant. You're going to be dead soon. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. My agent his wife, has somehow discovered that Wella, who I believe is my marshal, certainly one of my champions, and I'm pretty sure he's my marshal, is having an affair with Abba. Who's Abba? You're just a random woman, a lowborn woman. You, have, you got nothing going on right now. What is this? You're rakish. Ooh. Um, Wella. Wella. What it is, it... Oh, wait, you're the Marshal of Nanagarta. Okay, right. Um, Basa, could we please stop having people with the same name in our courts? I've got two Wellas, two Barixas, two Gartes, and two 4Ks to keep track of around here. 
could you change it up a little bit? Fine. So um, we've discovered that your marshal is having an affair with someone I I don't care about. Um, this is may or may not help my efforts. Actually, does it? Can can that get me a hook on that guy? Wella, can I? I don't. I don't have the hook. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just go away. You're confusing me with your same name thing. Oh, and he's raiding me too. Good, I'll be even happier after I murder you. I'm not going to raise up an army and try and deal with that because I don't have an army that can deal with that. Oh, we're still uh, swaying my daughter-in-law. Again, very sorry about Lampshade. It's not how I raised him, although I did actually raise him, so I guess it is how I raised him. Uh, and we're going to uh, talk to you about what exactly? Relentless courage, unshakable faith, or unmatched people skills? Well, what are you into? You're you're just, okay. So that doesn't really line up. You're ambitious. That might kind of line up with your relentless courage. And you're zealous. Ah, I think we should talk to you about unshakable faith. Because clearly you are a zealous, pious person. Sorry about the adultery thing. I'm going to talk to you about unshakable faith. I think that's going to go over well. I think I got that one right. Yep, nailed it. Unshakable faith. Nana Barixa is very, very much into that. Up to plus 47 with her. I don't I don't have any specific reason to keep swaying you, but, um, you know, why not? I'm, I'm honestly just, it's one big apology, Nana Barixa. It's just a huge apology I'm issuing to you. Oh, oh, there's problems with Guardia. Guardia, what is it? Whatever it is, I will make it better, I assure you. Guardia has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and fear in his eyes. My son and heir, Nana Lampshade, has been challenging people. All right, that's it, Lampshade. You are out of the family. You assaulted Guardia. Knowing, knowing how I felt about Guardia and how I feel about you, I might add, this will not stand. Uh, whatever, whatever you think is just, Guardia, is going to happen. So these duels will cease. Guardia gains 20 opinion of me. And Lampshade loses some opinion, and I spend some prestige. Okay. You need an instructor. Nana Lampshade gains Aspiring Blade Master and 10 opinion, but Guardia will lose opinion and 50 gold. Yet, no. No, 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 no. All right. Your father will show you how it's done. I No, sorry, your father is no fighter. I'm pretty sure I have a prowess of one, because uh, I tanked that stat to get better things. No, 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 no. I will spend... This This is how much I feel about this lampshade. This is how angry your father is with you. I am going to spend 75 prestige that I desperately need just to have this stop. You're going to lose 20 opinion. I broadly don't care. You should know I don't like you anyway. And you won't duel anymore. Guardia, I said I was going to make it better. I'm making it better. Yeah, Gartek continues to be a raiding thorn in my side right now. Another 75 prestige. Come on, Gar- Oh, I'm so happy I'm going to murder you. How much more time on that, by the way, please? Less than four months. Okay, yeah, in less than four months, you are 100% murdered. Ooh, and thanks to my agents, and by agents we mean your own wife, we've snuck into Nana Gartez room to read his messages. Oh, I like the sound of that. Let's make this a regular thing. Oh, that sounds great already, but what do I get? Intercepting communication, scheme power up, secrecy a little bit down, but success chance up. Or lucky break, and I'll get intercepted communications until the 5th of November. But that's today. I... I've, I've murdered a lot of people. I've murdered a lot of people. This is still the 5th of November, too. That's why... Are, I don't get why these are both intercepted communications, but one has got a bad thing and one has got a good thing. Do please let me know in the comments. I'm probably just misreading things. I am going to not risk secrecy loss for the sole reason that I've murdered a few people and some point somebody's going to start figuring this out. So no reason we have to advertise the fact that we're a bunch of killers. Well, the scheme is coming to fruition here. Nana Garta is going to be at a local celebration in crew. Why are we letting this guy into town? 
He's raided us countless times. He's been nothing but a thorn in our side. But I guess we're going to pretend to like him so we can lure him into the cellar for an exclusive wine tasting and a very terminal wine tasting. This will be easy. You're not wrong. 95% chance on this. Go for it. I want this guy done. Oh no, Nanagarta has disappeared and I have a brand new wall in my wine cellar, freshly mortared and bricked up. What a remarkable coincidence. Bye, Garta. Okay, who's in charge around here now? I assume your son. Uh, yeah, Nanadolo. Okay. Now, what do I need to do to you to make you go away? Oh, wait, other important news. Uh, my counselor died. I have a new shaman. Uh, Lurpu. I, I had a spy master called Lurpu. Wait, are you the same Lurpu? Are you, you are the same Lurpu. Because there's Flomo, your bastard son. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, so Lurpu. Okay, okay. Hang on. Hang on, Crusader Kings 3. Lurpu was my spy master on day one. And then we met Miata, who is the most ridiculous, insane spy master ever with an intrigue of 26. Oh, P.S. You can go back to disrupting schemes right now, and you can go on general assistance pawn. Lurpu is hung around the court having a very, very good time with some of my courtiers producing Flomo, her son. And I would assume, yeah, you're, um, you're, you're not, uh, yet, okay, you got two bastard children, Lerpu, and you're a holy woman. Hey, I don't judge, whatever you're into, but you are my new shaman, which is kind of unfortunate because you don't have a very good learning. I can't, I can change you out. I keep forgetting I can do this. That's how I got rid of the first shaman. Is anyone really good at learning at all? No. Actually, you're the best I've got right at this exact second. All right, Lerpu. Uh, well, welcome back to the council, I guess. Okay, back to Wenyan now. All right, you're getting, you're getting raided by Kasa, but that's not really doing much to your army. It's still a very, very beefy army compared to... Yeah, my 1483. I mean, I do have allies I can call in, but that's still pretty weak compared to what you've got going on. How am I going to deal with you without dying is really what I'm asking here. Uh, Nanakusi won against Bonduku, chieftain of... Oh, Nadenyi. I That's up here somewhere. I've, I've seen you before. Yeah, you're over here. Wow, Nadenye is getting pretty big. Pretty big there. Okay. Might be time to think about this one. Oh, everyone's getting real big armies now. That's most frustrating. You don't have a very good army, but you do have an ally. So do I. All right. I don't... Let's not go to war. We go to war every single time, and eventually we sometimes win, but honestly, it's just kind of holding us back. I want to focus more on development more than anything. And if we're going down the development route, maybe I should reward Guardia over here in Lobo. Right now you have longhouses. That's levies up and control up and prestige up. That's your prestige, though. Hang on, read that correctly. You are the holder of this holding, so your prestige is going up. That's fine. You deserve it, Guardia. What? Like Bubo here. Oh, Bubo's actually got a lot going on. You have a simple palisade. Great, so your fort level's up, your levies are up, your garrisons are up. You have a trading outpost. It's more money for me. And you have long houses. There's my prestige right there, because that one's mine. Okay. How about we go over to Grebo, then? What's going on over here? You have just Grand Hall. So levies up, control up, prestige up. That's all good stuff. I've got a little bit of money and a little bit of prestige... Probably the smarter move right now in crew is investment. Let's invest in our infrastructure, if you will. So what might be markets would be good. I don't have the prestige for that, though. I don't have the prestige for any of this. I would like to get markets in there. That's a big boost of tax at plus 0.4 a month. That is not a small amount of money when I'm only making 2.9. Okay, when we get that prestige up, we're going for that. Wow, Lampshade is really locked in to this court right now. Even if I want to disinherit him, just kick him out of the family. 900 prestige. 900 prestige and a whole 
bunch of renown that I don't have. Who? Somehow I'm going to deal with you. I can't go to war against my own kids, right? No. I can murder him. I, I could do that. I know Nana Lampshade is my child. I thought I could do that. I'm pretty sure I've got a perk that says I can. No, apparently I don't. I thought I did. I've seen it in there somewhere. I just can't immediately put my fingers on it. But at some point, I'm going to figure out how to murder my own children. Uh, but in the meantime, in, in fantastic news, Guardia has invited us to a feast. Guardia, I would be more than happy to come over. It will be my pleasure. A warm welcome indeed. Nana Guardia has welcomed us all to the feast. Thank you so much, man. It is so good to see you here. You are just doing outstanding work for crew. Just outstanding work. How um, how old are you, Guardia? We are 52. Okay, you are getting on in years. And you haven't produced any... Ch well, you have one child. I'm sorry, you have one child. Tempo... Tepo? Orma? And you are heir to the chiefdom of Lobo. Okay, good. Are you any good? Are you as good as your dad? No. You're wounded. You're a skilled tactician. You've gone down more of a military route. Your dad was going to do that too, and we convinced him he's a way better steward, which indeed he is. Okay, and you are shy. You're content. Content is not terrible. You're paranoid. Okay, you're not as good as your father, is all I'm saying about that. But we did get another new lifestyle perk. Yeah, I may be all over the map with the learning lifestyle trees, because there's so many good things in here. I'd like to go down the health route, whole of body. But I'd also like to go down theologian. So I'm just going to get that ball rolling. It's a faithful is no big deal. Clergy opinion up. Lerpu already likes me anyway. She has, even though I fired her from being a spy master. But it's not going to hurt to start going down that route. I am definitely going to be all over the map with that because there's so many good things in all of those trees. But we'll just kind of play it by ear. I mean, I'm getting on in years too. I'm, I'm 44. In Crusader Kings 3, I'm practically dead at this point. I should, you know, now that I've looked at Guardia, I should have a think about who's going to be the next steward. Because it ain't your son, I'll tell you that. And there's nobody else in court who even comes close to Guardia right now. Is there anyone in court who's unmarried that I could maybe pull somebody into court who might eventually be good at being a steward? This is a very long-winded route to get to a new steward, but I'm just trying to think in advance here. Now, Ebo, you're not a steward, but what, what is your deal exactly? You're a strategist. Enemy fatal casualties up 25%. Ooh, that is good. And you cross water without advantage penalties. Ooh, and you're a flexible leader. Huh. Well, you do have a marshal of 15, which ain't nothing, man. That ain't nothing at all. How much would it cost to, uh, my alliance expired? Oh, dear. I should probably attend to that one, then. Who were you? Oh, all right. Um, you were Sakaso. I liked you guys, too. All right, I'm running, I'm running shy on friends here. Oh, it's all happening today. Coaster has come of age. Oh, Coaster. The silent child of the family. No, no trouble, no drama from you. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. And, uh... And you, you, got, you already got your uh, husband going on there. Good for you. How did you shake out? Broadly meh. Broadly completely meh. Ten learning. Ten intrigue. Ten stewardship. You got a bit of fight in you, though. Fourteen on that marshal. That ain't nothing. And what are you? You're wrathful. Ooh, look out for coaster. Okay. You're ambitious. Yeah, solid. And you're greedy. Well, have fun in whoever's court this is here. Um, where, where are you again? Oh, I don't even have time to figure that out. Something else is happening here. Lugon and Ibrahim. All right, Lugon, you were the one who had the affair with Lerpu. Ibrahim is kind of my siege master. He's good at the sieging. We're not really doing a lot of that right now. I'm sorry, Ibrahim. Two courtiers are talking to each other, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody is listening. It is clear that their discussion relates to Nana Lampshade. I am interested. I must warn Lampshade, eh, not, not as such, not as such. If only I could get a little bit closer, I'd learn the subject of the conversation, and I have a 100% chance to do that. 
100% chance to do that. No downside. 0% chance. I must know what they're hiding. I'll gain 20 dread. Oh, and we're going to torture them. Well, that's no good. I like Ibrahim, and I have no particular strong feelings about Lugon. Whatever he does with Lerpu, that's their business. Or it's nothing important, I lose 10 dread. No, no, no. I want to know exactly what's going on here. Okay, so a shady discussion. They're discussing N Nana Lamshade's private life. We all are. Ibrahim, we, we're all discussing this. This is the topic of conversation of the day. So interesting. I learn of Nyaman's child heritage secret. I already know it. Guys, this is old news. The entire court knows about Lampshade's bastard child. Now, Faluku and Coaster got married. That's cool. And um, remind me, sorry, one more time where you are. You're up here in Kabara, Kabarasana. Kabarasana, okay. And you are still allied to me. Good. Um, how are you? Um, I, I, you don't do anything, though. That's the problem. You don't really do anything at all. You have nothing going on. You've got a couple of claims on Toro and Konyan. I suppose, theoretically, can I help you conquer them? And then you'd have it. And then I'd have an alliance with somebody who actually has an army. Does that make any sense? You've got 1102 in Toro, but you've got a couple of alliances going on, too. Oh, and your primary heir has one of those really cool masks because they're disfigured. I totally want to get disfigured just so I can have the really cool mask. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coaster just got smallpox. Coaster? Oh, God, you're hideous. You have smallpox. Stop it. Stop having diseases. What, what does that break down to? I mean, obviously, your critical pen penalty on your health. Coaster, no. I paid no attention to you. Don't die now. I might start actually liking you. Family is just falling apart. Alliance expired. I get Coaster are no longer married. Faluku, did you just dump my daughter after she had smallpox, or are you dead? I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent on this. Okay, I think. I think this just went down very quickly. Coaster got smallpox, and Faluku died for reasons. But the, oh no, Coaster no longer has smallpox. I don't think that's how smallpox works, Coaster, but good job. Coaster has immediately become betrothed to Yazboy here, who is 13. Only robbing the cradle there, Coaster. Well, actually, you're only 16. Did a little Romeo and Juliet in reverse here. That's fine. Um, who are you? What is going on with my family? You are whom? Uh, you're the son of Farbus Bissy. Okay. And you have, like, all of that. You have Loma. Show me Loma. Loma's... Yeah, Loma's not bad. Okay. You've got an army. Are we now... I'm very confused, Farbus Bissy. Are we now in an alliance? No. Even though somewhere around here, I think my daughter is marrying somebody like your son. It clearly says your son. So why are we not allies? All right, Coaster, just try and sort it out for daddy, would you? Oh, Bubo's been sacked. Nanakusi, who are you? Of Nadenyi. Oh dear. They're causing a fuss. All right, that feat, that's going to be prestige again. Or I will avenge this slight. Yeah, no, I'll form a rivalry with you. How many people I've murdered around here, sir? Let me take a look at you then. What What is your problem? You're coming over here and raiding me. You have an army. You have an army. You are raiding me and you're raiding someone else. How does my army stack up against yours? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, hi, Pawn. What's up? Oh, God, there's all sorts of things going on here. Lampshade, Wella, and Lerpu all have issues. Okay. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I'm complaining to Pawn when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it. All right, so Pawn's going to take charge here. I like you, Pawn. Glad I married you. Lampshade could use a tutor. Uh, yeah, in marital relations. In how to stay married to the same person without straying. Studying diplomacy, and he'll gain 15 opinion because he's grateful. He'll gain plus two diplomacy, plus one learning for 15 years. Not bad. Wella could benefit, but he'll be insulted. 
and he'll get studying martial, which I assume is basically the same thing. Yeah, martial up, learning up. Lerpu, I don't really care about Lerpu. So you'll get plus two learning, I would assume. Plus three learning, okay, yeah. Plus two learning and then another plus one learning. That's plus three learning, Dave, and you'll be insulted. Or I can just hang out with Pawn. I could just hang out with Pawn. Um, Pawn, how old are you? 45. I don't know what the cutoff date is in Crusader Kings 3 for children, but I'm going to guess we'd be kind of pushing the, the limits here. You know what? You should go talk to Lampshade. He's your son, too. Coaster! Coaster, no! Coaster, you got over smallpox. You beat it. Oh, wow. Everything is going wrong in the family today. No, she didn't deserve this. I barely knew the girl. 16 years old. Dead from not smallpox. Apparently. All right, boss. Oh, wow. What a bummer. Okay, who's left? Who's left around here? Lampshade that we don't like. Pencil. I am so pinning all of my hopes and dreams on you. And of course, Keychain, our latest daughter, nine years old. Uh, you have, you have no potential spouse. We should probably do something about that because we could use some more friends. Oh, I like the looks of this. Oh, pretty far away. Very far away, in fact. But dang, this guy's got stuff going on. Huge military strength. Nice big plot of land here. I'll, I'll deal with the empty council position in a sec. It better not be Guardia. It better not be Guardia. Not after Coaster. I'll look at it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, this is you, right? House Jukun. House Jukun. Okay, yeah. Please marry my daughter because you are a big dog around here and I would like to cuddle up with you just fine. Thank you. I don't suppose there's any way you'd go for matrilineal. You almost will. Is there anything I could do to just beef that up a little bit? Matrilineal marriage, no. Different faith, no. No, there's just nothing I could... Oh, so close on that. If he just liked Keychain a little bit more, I could do a matrilineal marriage. I don't know how to make that happen, though. Like, can I sway him? And by the time I get all of that done, this kid will probably already be married off. I don't have any hooks on you. Okay, I'll just take it as is then. Guardia! No! I don't care about your alliance. Guardia's dead. Go away. Oh no! Guardia! I loved you more than my own son! Guardia! I don't even know what to do. I, I, I don't even know what to do with that information. I've lost Guardia. I've lost Coaster. Lampshade is effectively dead to me. I've got Pencil and Keychain. And Keychain's going to go live somewhere else eventually. I don't even want to fill this spot. I don't even want to fill... Who could fill this spot? Who could I put here as steward that would even fill half of the shoes that Guardia wore? It ain't you, Lampshade. I'll tell you that right now. What? What do you want, Lerpu? What do you... I'm very busy right now. I'm very sad and busy and stressed. Lerpu is quoting passages from sacred stories. Well, super. That's fantastic. Can you bring Guardia back to life, Shaman? All right, courage, compassion, serenity. What are, what are you into? You're paranoid. Okay. You're callous. And you're gluttonous. Well, none of those really fit up. I'm going to... What, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, you're a fornicator. I forgot about that. You have several bastard children. Uh, right, uh, courage. Go for it. I, I well, got 100 piety. Great. Can you take the 100 piety? Go talk to whatever deity it is that we worship and get Guardia back to life. Teppo, do you really think that you're filling your father's shoes here with a five? A five in stewardship? I... You are probably... As big a disappointment to Guardia as Lampshade is to me. Lugon, now you've got a thing going on with Lerpu. You're, you're all I've got, man. You're all I've got. Is there anyone in my court that's shown up that might be better? No, just Ebo here. I was kind of looking at Ebo. does have a really good martial skill. Oh, it's only three to recruit you. Yeah, come on in, man. We're, 
we're mourning here in the court of crew. It's a, it's a period of mourning right now. I guess, I guess it's going to have to be Guardia's son. Tar no, I can't, man. I can't. I do it for the sentimental value, but Lugon has three more points in stewardship. So Lugon, you're in. I, I can't, I can't continue this recording right now. I, I have to go mourn. We'll come back to some more Crusader Kings 3. I don't know why. Everything that I loved is dead in Crusader Kings 3. Guardia is gone. Coaster, I mean, love is a strong word when applied to Coaster because I, I never really knew the girl, uh, but she's dead. Lampshade is dead to me. He may be walking this earth, but he is dead to me. We, we've entered a very bleak period in Crusader Kings 3 here, but we, we will pick up some more of this again next time. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. I'm very sad. See you next time.